I am 36 weeks and, hold on, <laughs> four days today, um, although my doctor would consider me 36 weeks and six days, and lately I've been going a little bit more by what they're saying, just because it's been easier to keep track of everything. Um, but again, it doesn't really affect anything, so I'm just going to keep doing the videos as I was. So, anyway, um, we're getting there. We're getting very close. So, I actually recorded this yesterday. I just wanted to say, I just re I recorded this yesterday, this video, but I was in a really bad place yesterday. And I like to keep everything real as far as how I'm feeling, but it was just bad. So, I thought I'd come back. And I would just let you know that yesterday was a bad day and then I would come and do it again. It's Today is better. I think yesterday I had a doctor's appointment and it just all became really real to me. And so I really just kind of shut down for the day. So, alright. Last time I filmed, last week, I was talking about the possibility that this baby might be breech. And so that was Tuesday and then on Wednesday we had a ultrasound and she's definitely breech. She is complete breech which means her head is up and her feet are down below kind of in a like crisscross position and her and she's sitting on her feet. This is a little bit um actually it's it's more rare, less common than the frank breech, which is where the head is up and the feet are up and the bottom is down, which is what you usually hear about. And when the feet are down, it's just a little bit more dangerous because if I do go into natural labor, there's just more risks to it. So that's the situation. And then we looked into the possibility of having her flipped manually. And it is an option, it just isn't very likely to work. I don't have a lot of fluid, like amniotic fluid for her to even move in, and I don't have a lot of space. And um, it just, it, it's, it's less than 50% chance for it to work for me. And so I was talking about the risks of that, which there are quite a few. Versus the risks of having a, a scheduled C-section. And um, I just felt that a scheduled C-section was the safer way to go. Because I really, really, really would not want to end up with an emergency C-section. I'd rather just go in, do one procedure. Because it's also if you do the flipping and then you do, you know, whatever else you have to do. Which might be an emergency C-section. It might be a regular planned c-section still if it doesn't work it might be still a c-section for any reason when the baby is born or you know sometimes it's just that and then the birth but either way it's two things that would have to happen and this way it's only one which to me is a little bit more I don't know I just feel it just feels like the right decision for me and I'm sure, you know, different situations, different people have different things that are better for them, but for me and my baby, I think that a scheduled C-section is the most safe and just best option for us. So that's what we're doing. And yesterday was the day that I had to schedule it, so that was just a little bit stressful to me. Um, which, you know, I had a week to come to terms with it, but then scheduling it made it really really real so that was just hard so anyway it's scheduled for September the 16th which is a little over two weeks away which is also ter terrifying just to think about how soon that is but they have to do it a week early so I don't go into labor naturally so hopefully we'll just stick it out until then and then everything will go smoothly so that's the plan, and uh, that's the main 
goings on for this week. So I only have one more appointment, which is next week on Friday. So that's still a week and a half away. And then I have just the pre-op meeting, I guess, with them the day before the surgery. So I'm only gonna have two more pregnancy update videos, which is crazy to me. So there you have it. That's the big event. And let me just go over the little things. Um, well, not little things, but just the other things that have been going on because I've been very focused on this breach thing, but you know, we've also been making sure everything's ready. So symptoms, I've been having a lot of pains down low, which a few weeks back I mentioned I was having really sharp pains down low. And I don't know if I ever followed up on that, but now we know that it is the kicking. And it's still happening and it's very painful. Um, I'm actually getting kicked in the nerve for my legs too, which cause, is causing my legs to go numb. And then it's just really painful, the rest of the area where the kicking is happening. So that's going on. I'm having a lot more Braxton Hicks contractions too, so that's happening. As far as preparing for her arrival, I um, bought a few last minute things that I needed, like a nursing cover and I don't know what else. Uh, some burp cloths. We never got burp cloths, so I had to get those. Just some little odds and ends that for some reason had just never been bought. And then, um, oh, and some bottles and things like that. And I repacked my hospital bag. A lot of it is still relevant, but some things just you know, and I'm going to be there now for four days in the hospital, so I needed more outfits and more baby outfits and just some extra stuff for a different kind of recovery. So I got all that. I packed that up. And I think pretty much we're all set to go whenever. There's some things that I would like to do, but nothing that needs to happen. And there's some things I would still want to order, but nothing that I need at the birth or anything like that. So, um, as far as that, the last thing was the nursing cover. I really wanted that at the hospital in case I have visitors. And so that was on my list, but that is, I just got it in the mail, like right before I filmed this. So anyway, oh, and then last week we had, uh, the baby shower at Steve's work, which was fun. It was, um just a little like everyone that was still at work kind of just showed up and we had cake and they had gotten us some cute presents we got a lot of clothes and stuff and it was funny because the last baby shower nobody knew what we were having and then this one they all knew as a girl so there was you know it's a girl balloons and um just girly outfits and stuff that we got so that was really nice of them uh it definitely brought a little more cheer to my week because it's, it's been a difficult week just adjusting to everything and it is what I believe is best and I will happily do this for my child but it's scary at the same time so I'm kind of trying to deal with that and find the balance and prepare myself mentally so anyway that is all for this week I will see you guys again next week for our second to last update. So, thanks for watching. Bye guys.